Hello, hi, how are you? My name's Ken and welcome to my channel and today we're playing part three of Payne's Creek Killings. So I came back into Oliver's photography. There has to be ways to open this. I feel like I'm missing something. There's no way to unlock this. What am I missing? Oh my gosh. I am so blind. Uh, we just found the shovel. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> I think that's to dig up the time capsule that the kids buried. I'm honestly mad. Do I still need a key to open the door? Because I don't know. Does it just open once I get the shovel? Yeah, I still don't have the key. Can I jimmy it? Oh. Uh... A wrench? Wait, hold on. No, wait, how do I... Do I use a shovel to bust it open? Okay. Can I just hop over? Is that like a thing? Andrew Reed. Oh, his birthday's the years like washed away. Timothy Sanders, you're in God's care now. Yeah, I still don't know Harry Henry Johns. Oh, that's Doctor. Okay. Wanda. Yeah. Now these tombstones make sense. Who's this one? Oh yeah, the Roberts mother. I don't know how to get through that door. Sarah Goldberg. Trisha Roberts. Vivian Roberts. So mother and daughter together. Suze. So did the father. The father. I'm, I'm assuming the father's still alive. Jonathan Hopkins. Corey Hopkins. Jesse Elliott. Philip Young. Alvin Bennett. Wait, that's weird. Devoted wife and mother. See the birthdays? This one, I mean, this one has the month, but like. June 1st, 19th. Oh, wait, didn't we use his birthday for something? Right? Is his birthday meaning something? Maybe. Let me. I have to write down his birthday. I'd say his death means something too, but obviously. I mean, there is. What is it? It's a. There's a long code in the church. You think that would give me the key to this? <laughs> Wait, you know what? Let's try it. What's the harm in trying it out? I still think the priest is hiding something in the room. Okay. Let's try... Yeah, I know it's locked. Let me unlock it. Okay. So, his birthday was October, so 10. Two. Four. Oh, wait. 
Before, maybe zero two. Oh, okay, there you go. Because I'm like 1902, I can't add that in there. Oh, there's nothing in here. Are you kidding me? What, what was the point of that? Is this the same code? I'd be mad if it's not. <laughs> it pushes me back. There's some papers. This is a letter about the things that I have witnessed during my stay in Payne's Creek while in service to Mrs. Magdalene Roberts. I have no one to confide in and I dare not to speak to you in public, hence this letter. I accompanied Miss Roberts to Payne's Creek on July 4th, 1975, to visit her son, Charles. It was rumored that Vivian had a nervous breakdown following her own delivery of Trisha, as she had to stay in PCH for rehabilitation for several months. During that time period, Charles was all alone. He found comfort in a house made by the name of Sophia. They had an affair. A boy was born. Two days after arriving, we were informed that Sophia, along with her child, had left Ains Creek. Where she could have gone off to was a mystery for all of us. I assumed most of us believed in the story, including myself, however. Miss Roberts refused to believe that Sophia would leave when she would have been accepted into the Roberts family. The boy that she bore for Charles would have guaranteed that. Miss Roberts initiated a search for Sophia with our driver, Patrick, and myself. It lasted less than two months before she passed away from a heart attack. What I want to confess in this letter is not about Sophia, although I was initiated by her disappearance, about Miss Roberts' untimely death. You see, Miss Roberts had a heart condition, and it had been affected her for a while. However, her medication has always kept her stable. Her prescription was still the same during her visit to Payne's Creek, yet her condition deteriorated. The family doctor, Henry Johnson, confirmed that her search for Sophia has had taken a toll on her health, and she needed to rest as much as she could and she would be fine. I know that despite the doctor's advice, Miss Roberts did not stop the search. Did that create stress on her? Yes. Should it have killed her? According to the physician attending to Miss Roberts back at home, no, definitely not within such a short time span if she had taken her medicine. Her body was never optatied. Her son Charles wanted her body untouched and buried properly. As Patrick and I were packing to leave for home, I couldn't help but wonder who could have wanted Miss Roberts dead. Is there a connection between the affair of Charles and the housemaid? The disappearance of Sophia and her child and the death of Miss Roberts? I would like to say whom I suspect, yet I am no such position, and uh, and I'm afraid that I might name the wrong person. As I write this letter, I hope you can understand what I'm trying to convey. I pray that the truth will be revealed as God permits it. Sylvia Ada. Who's Sylvia? I don't... I don't know who Sylvia is. I still don't know where this church key goes to. Oh... I'm going back to cemetery. I'm guessing. What if I can't get into that gate? What if wherever I need to dig is in the open space? And if that's the case, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I put so much time into this game. I'm just trying to find extra stuff I can't find. Okay, so I said it. So it said it was a near big stone, so I thought it was over there. There's also stone here, so maybe it is just here. Is there a place to dig? No. Damn it! I thought I was kind of right. I was. I was hoping that I would be right. Shit. I was right! <gasps> Fuck yeah. Oh! Freaking Bush Bishop. Uh, what is it, nine? This is so annoyed. Okay, so we have. Now we have that key. 
code. The desk, okay. Special congratulations, I always love you from mom. What is that? Secret of Payne's Creek. There's a hidden room in the study, yeah. Underground secret passage, that's the tunnel. Secret room from above, father's room. Okay, so there is a secret room. I gotta figure that out. Future detective scat. Probably where that light is. But I'm probably looking at it wrong. There's all three of them. Best friends forever. Is that it? Okay. Thought there maybe be like a note to read or something. I'm so mad. I could have figured that out earlier. Alright, let's go to the desk. In the mansion. Alright, let's go to the study. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. What was the note? I don't know what the note it was like. King. Right? It was King. Knight. King. Maybe Bishop? And Queen? No. Shit. Okay. Alright, let's try five, one. Nope. Nine, four? I don't fucking know, man. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Months ago, night before, Vivian was killed. I confronted her about mom's death. She says she didn't know anything about it. She only administered the medicine as provided by Dr. Johnson. She was lying. I could see it in her eyes. She was scared and she was hiding her fear. I know that Vivian was never completely truthfully with me, but I still have no proof yet. She never liked mom, but I wouldn't have thought her capable of killing her own mother-in-law. I know that she- I know that- I know that she had something to do with what happened to mom and Sophia. But what can I do? She was my wife. After all, and now, Vivian is dead, and so is Scott, and now Trisha is dead too. Is this my punishment for the affair I had 20 years ago? Uh, our investigation was initially promised. We interviewed possible witnesses who might have known something about Sophia's disappearance months later. However, we are nowhere near knowing what happened to Sophia. We searched through all the states and possible traces, but no avail. What we could conclude this time is that the main cause of Sophia's disappearance Disappearance has to do with Andrew, Henry, and Vivian. Now that they're gone, we're unable to get the truth of what really happened to Sophia. If you prefer, we can still continue the search. However, the results look bleak. We have proposed rewards for any information regarding Sophia. That's hoping it's just a matter of time before somebody, someone with real information steps up. For the time being, we suggest that you wait. Should anything emerge, you will find you'll be the first to know. I mean, I figured it out. Why can't you figure it out? Upon your request, we investigated... Andrew Reed and Henry Johnson's death due to confidentiality agreements with our sources, we are not able to reveal the true nature of their deaths. Suffice to say, both of them did not die of said accounts. So we dug deeper. We found out that Andrew and Henry were both related to the disappearance of Sophia Miller and the death of Magdalene Roberts 20 years ago. What really happened to Sophia, we do not know of now. However, some evidence was brought to light regarding Magdalene Roberts' death. We talked to a retired nurse who used to work at the Paynes Creek Community Hospital. Although she preferred to remain anonymous, according to her, she came across a note while cleaning Dr. Johnson's office. In it, Dr. Johnson stated that the prescription was lethal and to be administered only to Magdalene. And a dosage had to be precise or it will not work. No one else should take it. A letter was made out to your wife, Vivian Roberts, according to the note. If you would like for us to stop investigating, 
Let us know at your earliest convenience. Otherwise, we'll still continue to find out the truth about Sophia's parents. Yep, you should have been able to know. If I found out, you found out. Okay, well, I guess the last thing is to figure out what's in that church. Alright, moment of truth. What's in this guy's room? There has to be something here. Is there a button or something? I knew it was the light switch. I thought you had to like turn it though. What the? F oh, I went up that stairs pretty fast. There's the murder weapon. that oh and that typewriter someone came to Pangs Creek and she cannot know that's not creepy at all Dear Matthew, it's been more than two years since I started the work at the mansion. I like this place a lot. The people here are nice to me. Thank you for this letter. Although I cannot be there with you in, the, in your missionary work, I pray for your success. You were always the noble one. Do you remember the wishes we made when we were at the orphanage? Yours was to help the unfortunate. Mine's was to not be poor. <laughs> well, I did not expect opportunity to knock soon. Maybe heaven is helping me with all that's happened these past few months. My wish may just be come true. Uh, I'd love to tell you more about it, but I can't wait until you're back. Things might be different than then. I hope for the better. Dearest Matthew, I'm writing this letter to let you know what happened to Sophia. My days are almost up, and I feel you have the right to know what happened to her nine years ago. In 1974, when Vivian Roberts underwent a C-section to deliver Trisha, she was told that she could not give birth anymore. Vivian broke down mentally and was hospitalized. Sophia was tasked with taking care of the newly born Trisha and helping Charles Roberts. Charles was facing a lot of difficult and difficulty and pressure, unfortunately, found comfort in Sophia and they had an affair. A boy was born. A few months later, Vivian found out about the relationship. She was furious. Feeling threatened by the illegitimate boy, Vivian kicked Sophia and the body out of Payne's Creek. Everyone believed that, but the truth is, I took the boy and put him into St. Patrick's Orphanage. I named him Scott. Time flies. He's going to be 10 soon. I pray that you can bear the responsibility of raising him. He does not need to know about his real parents. It's all about the past. Instead, it's all in the past. Instead, give him a new start. I sincerely hope you can forgive me for hiding this from you for so long. Wow. I can't move. June 6th. 1995. Who's that? I met Andrew in the evening at his house. He was hallucinating when we met, saying that he's seen Sophia everywhere, that he's a sinner, and that he should die. But I didn't mean to kill him. My hands are still shaking. June 30th, 1995. Dr. Johnson came. He was surprised to see me. Is this Scott? He tried to justify, saying it wasn't his fault. Who's this? He was only carrying the baby and had nothing to do with Sophia's death. That's a lie. When I revealed the truth about Magdalene, his face turned white. He didn't expect anyone to know the truth. He deserved to die. Jeez. July 19, 
1995. Just like the doctor, Vivian came alone. Instead of feeling guilty, she called Sophia a bitch who destroyed everything she had. I didn't feel any sign of remorse, feeling of guilt, or repentance from her at all. So I gave her time to express herself. And then I killed her. But, who's this? It's all over now. But Andrew Why killed am her. I not at peace? There's this nosy investigator in town. I thought that if I led him to believe that Bernard killed Vivian, oh. he just might oh. believe it. But I made the mistake of trying to mislead him. Now, he's suspecting me of being the killer. He has to die. What the fuck is that? Someone here? Hello? <gasps> oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, you bitch. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Is he fast? I don't know. Oh, fuck, the doors are locked. Where do I go? Who are you? This door's usually locked. Oh, I'm in the sewers. What the heck? I don't know where to go. Oh, cool. oh my gosh. Dude, he <laughs> the guy with the axe gave me the chills. I'm still trying to figure out who it is, and I can't put a name to it. Oh, she's over here. I guess I'll go this way. I wonder if she's behind me. Eh. Oh, shit. Oh, she's this way. Thank you. Is that the ghost of Sophia? Because it kind of looks like her. Yeah, I must have unlocked that door before. Are we in the hospital? Oh shit, yeah we are. Yeah, I guess we go up the stairs. Oh, she's over there. I hear him. That was close. Oh, up here. Oh, I know where we're going. Yeah, she was right there. Yep. I think we're gonna push him off. Where is he? Oh, those are my footsteps. Come on, bitch, let me push you off. Oh, she saved me. She saved me. That's crazy. To Janet. I'm glad that you made it back safely and uncovered the truth about the Payne's Creek killings. Good job. Your story will be on the front page tomorrow in the newspaper. Please submit the following information as well as the photos of your article as soon as possible. Richard Harris. P.S. By the way, we found out who hired the P.I. Stephen Moss. Who killed Fid? Ah, damn it. I have to choose? He's dead. She's dead. She's dead. He's dead. Oliver Gibson is not dead, but 
Yeah, I don't think Oliver Gibson did it. He was too nice. He liked Vivian. We did find that tape recorder in Matthew's attic that stated he killed Vivian. <laughs> it was Laura Reed. Oh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Reed's mother, I'm assuming. James Howard. Nah, I don't think Derek Tyler did either. He loved Trisha too much. Bernard was framed. Andrew died in a fire, obviously. And Charles, who knows where Charles is now? Yeah, it's probably Matthew. Just because of the hard evidence of that tape. Oh, who was, what was the, an axe? Yeah, there's nothing else. Select photos. Oh, I didn't take that many good photos. It looks better, this one, or this one. I'll use this one. Submit. Submit my story. To Dorothy Patterson. My name is Janet Kelly. I'm here to inform you on your better half of P.I. Stephen Moss that the secrets of the Paynes Creek killings have come to light. He is, however, missing. Police are searching for his whereabouts. While preparing for this letter, I could not help but wonder, what if Charles didn't commit adultery? What if Vivian had not confronted Sophia? What if Magdalene had insisted a son to continue the family line? Could things have turned out differently? In hindsight, it's easy to say what they should not have done. Sometimes it is hard to make the right choices in life, isn't it? Did Derek really hate Scott so much that it led to his death? Did Matthew not have sought revenge for Sophia? And why did Henry Johnson choose to be an accomplice in Magdalene's death? The truth was that everyone made a choice that they think was best, but not, ne not, not necessarily the right one. This made me realize the following. We have the freedom to say or do whatever we want, but the consequences following our actions, the bigger the mistake, the harsher the consequence. It's true that Charles and Sophia had an affair was wrong, but Vivian had a choice either to confront Charles about it or take it out on Sophia. She chose the latter. Just as Viv Vivian made her choice, so did Andrew, Henry, and Matthew. In the end, they all had to face consequences. One thing puzzled me. If Stephen and I were both trying to figure out the truth, why was I safe but not him? I hope I can find an answer someday. Till then, the story is the story of Peg Crane's cheese of the killing. <laughs> yeah, that's a better picture. The Sun City Tribune. Well, that was a good story. Some of the puzzles were a little annoying. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this game. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you liked this video, press that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you guys in the next one.